This home is actually famous for being the first lead home in the world. Now, Paul, tell us a little bit about that story. And how did that come to be? Well, I guess it was more luck than um, intention. Uh, the house was half out of the ground. We had just started building it when lead... Um, came out with their pilot program and uh, we entered our house even though it was beyond plan stage and they accepted it. I guess it qualified because this is the way I've always built homes and uh, my first job trying to do energy efficiency in green was after the oil embargo in 1975. So that's how it happened. Uh, the LEED pilot program came out in August of 2005 and in uh, April 2nd, 2006, we moved in. So um, that's our claim to fame. Since you had the certification, you've continued to make upgrades to the home, right? Now it's a net, it's a net zero, it's known as a net zero energy house, correct? That's correct. Um, okay. We just got our second true up bill, which comes from our power company, PG&E, which once a year they look at the bill and we pay what we owe above what we produced. And this year I owe $9. And that's the heating, the cooling, and the electric. Wow. <laughs> and what that means our footprint is um, very low, and that we actually produce most of our electricity um, from about 11 a.m. through 5 p.m., which is when all of the loads that require the additional um, generation from the uh, uh, gas-fired turbines have to go on. So that's this type of uh, net energy uh, is really uh, probably the most effective way to offset the uh, additional requirements for power plants.